Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Zion. So today I have my curly cut appointment. I'm super excited. Um, so this is a curl specialist that follows the three-step method. Um, it's not really a method, it's just cleanse, condition, and style. But yeah, I've been needing a cut just to like frame my face more, like more shape. Like as you can see, like the back is very long and then like it's short right here the front is very long like it's much longer than these little side pieces right here so i just did a corrective cut pretty much so i'm super excited it's the 23rd so it's kind of like my christmas my christmas gift to myself um, i've been saving for this and following her for a bit so i'm super excited and we're about to leave um, my appointment's at 10 30 so we are leaving now i'm just gonna bring my book and my airpods because yeah i feel like that's all i'll need and i might not even need those things but Okay, I have my mask in the car and my wallet up there. I need my jacket. I was going to say I need a hair tie, but that's going to be covered. All right, let's go. Two hours later. Guys, I just got the salon. I'll put pictures in because it's going to be better. But guys, do you see my hair? Like it looks so different, but I love it. Like, okay, let's look at these little curls. Like, look at the curls. Like, every single curl is a pun, as we'll see in the pictures, too. And, like, I really like the shape, like, like going up like that, you know? But I was kind of scared that she was cutting off length. But then I realized I really did not care, like, about my length as much as I thought I did. But this feels really good. Um, yeah, so I just got the curly cut this time, but next time I do want to do the, like, experience where she teaches me, like, hands-on. But that's $500, and I don't know when I'll be able to do that, because I have to save $500. Um, this one was $300, and it was definitely worth it. Like, do you see this? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm excited for it to grow throughout the week, and maybe I'll come do updates, maybe I won't, but we'll see. But, yeah, this is the finished cut. Looks so good. Like, do you see this, girl? Do you see this? Yeah, so I'm gonna get home. And so, it's been a whole day of having short hair. And here's how it's looking. I don't know if it looks any different, but still loving it. Um, I'm gonna wrap it for you guys on camera. First time wrapping it with short hair. Uh, for my shower, I literally didn't have to pull it back or anything. I just put it in the shower cap, and that was all because it's short enough to do that now. But um, a lot of the length was cut off, I think, because of elasticity issues, because of putting it in a high bun for volleyball and working out almost every day. Um, so she told me when I do sport, it's just like get a really loose hair tie and just like pull back this and then clip back this. Um, so I'm not like stretching my hair. So that's the same thing I'm gonna do with wrapping because usually I would wrap it in a pineapple. Uh, but today I'm doing it in a lower style, which you guys will see. But yeah, um, it's so interesting. Like I've never had a hair this short like in my life. So it's very weird, it feels very weird. But I really like it. I think it suits my face. And I think that, especially if I get little clips to clip it back, it's gonna be super cute. And I cannot wait for it to get volume. Like honestly, earlier I was not liking it as much because it was just so flat. But I just have to, you know, trust the process of it growing. And I know that my wash goes won't come out this flat, but hopefully this defined. Because I don't know if you guys have seen these curls, but these curls are curling is all I can say. Like every single curl is defined. And she gave me products and stuff that I can use. Um, yeah, so I got a curly cut and not the experience. I don't know if I'll talk about this. So I didn't get to learn how to do it, but I, she just did it for me. Let me take a picture of the products. I'm gonna take my glasses off, even though I really cannot see. But yeah, just tuck this hair behind the ears. Make sure all it's smooth. All right, now I'm just taking this. Oh, it's still too long, too wide or whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna tie this. I cannot see. Ew, like that's gonna make it, like, maybe it'll be fine. I need to calm down. Like, I mean, this is stressing me out for no reason. Like, what is the reason to be stressed out about this? Like, girl, as long as you have a scarf on your head, you're good. Stop. That looks horrible. Like, that's not how you're up here. I'm so stressed out, so I never ended up re-explaining what I did. So I did not use that scarf because it stressed me out too much. And the way 
the way it was like this wide this wide and like this long it wasn't working for me so i ended up getting the scarf i was actually supposed to be using as a shirt but it's super big and very silky like this is how big it is girl and then yeah this is what i've been using every night and i literally just fold it like this with like the little triangle can you guys see that i should have recorded this but again i was like very stressed so okay anyways i got this little triangle and then i mean this is what i do every night and then I get it like this, and obviously all the hair is in there, but I'm wearing makeup right now, so I don't want to do that. And then I put a bonnet on over it, because this scarf is so, like, silky soft that it would just slide right off, I think. So I put a bonnet, and yeah, that's what I do. Okay, guys, it's Christmas Eve. Don't mind the lip. I'm going to put some lip gloss on with it, but this is day two of my hair. My mom said it grew a little bit, and I think it did, like, right here. But I'm still wanting some bigger results. But yeah, I just want to come and update you guys with that. Curls are still looking perfect as ever. This is better lighting to show you guys in because you guys really didn't get like a good look at it yesterday. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to go enjoy Christmas Eve with my family and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I missed yesterday but because it was Christmas, but here's today. So it's definitely getting some volume and it got a lot more volume because today was the first day I actually put it up for volleyball. Uh, I just did a like pony to like not completely low but like right here so it wasn't sitting on my neck and the back of my hair got a little bit undefined even though it wasn't touching my neck like just like this part that was sweaty and then obviously you can see the roots got more volume like it was not like that before but it still had gotten more volume but I think I'm just going to end this video off here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't be scared of cutting off lymph for health. Um, lymph really means nothing. I mean, I don't know. Like, look at these curls. And then if we compare my before and after pictures, like, girl. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't be scared to cut your hair. It will not make you any less feminine or or be embarrassing that you are a black woman with short hair. Because I know that's a lot of black women's concern, but who cares if you have shorter hair? Like, if somebody's judging you for having shorter hair and saying you're bald-headed, like, you probably don't want to be surrounding yourself with those kind of people. And those type of people are not the people you should be uh, feeling judged by or letting people, like, letting them get to you. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day. And bye-bye.